Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper MRI brain classification using support vector machine. In this paper, we are going to introduce a classification mechanism for MRI brain scan images. Magnetic resonance imaging is an imaging technique that has played an important role in neuroscience research for studying brain images. We are going to consider the abnormal brain images such as glioma, meningioma, metastasis and astrocytoma. For the classification, we are going to use the kernel based n-class support vector machine. For the feature extraction, we will introduce the gray level co-occurrence matrix system. After constructing the co-occurrence matrix with the help of the statistical measures such as correlation, contrast, energy, entropy, etc., we may extract the features and we can segment the given brain image for the identification of tumor also. This system will be useful in future as a part of content based medical image retrieval system. At the end we are going to identify the performance of our implementation system. Now let us see the explanation of this data flow diagram. The first block is selection of input image by the user. The user has to select any one image from the four different categories. Following this we have to process the median filtering upon the given input image. This is for denoising the given input image. Come to the next block. It is segmentation. Here we are going to introduce the modified fuzzy C-means clustering algorithm. Modified FCM is based on the concept of data compression where the dimensionality in of the input is highly reduced. Each data is a member of every cluster but with a certain degree known as the membership value. It is a method of clustering which allows one piece of data to belong to more than one cluster. And the final segmented image is shown to the user. Following this, the feature extraction, it is based on the construction of gray level co-occurrence matrix. GLCM is defined by first specifying a displacement vector D and counting all pairs of pixels separated by D having gray levels I and G. Now the computer features are arranged in the form of 1 cross N vector where N represents the total number of features extracted from the constructed co-occurrence matrix. It is now called as feature vector. Come to the next block, it is multi SVM classifier. The above set procedure is repeated for all the images available in the database and the features are now collectively termed as feature matrix. Now the feature matrix and the feature vector is two inputs for the multi SVM classifier. It will be trained since it is a supervised classifier. Afterwards, it will bisect the given all set of feature features into two sets. That means normal and then abnormal. Under the abnormal, again it will bisect into the remaining categories. So it is a combination of SVM and the decision tree approach. Come to the last block. The SVM classifier, it will able to predict the type of the tumor. Now the tumor category is displayed to the user. The category comes under four different categories. One is glioma, second one meningioma, third one is metastasis. The last one is astrocytoma. With the help of this system, we are able to easily predict the tumor category. Now let us see the demo of our proposed implementation. And this is the main file, brain main.m. Select this file and then right click, choose the option run file. The guy window is displayed here. Now press the button load image. In the file browser window, under the images folder, select any one image. Now I am going to select the second one. It will be displayed in the corresponding access control. Next to do the pre-processing. Pre-processing is the median filtering algorithm applied on the given test image. And it is also displayed nearer to the test image. Next, press the segmentation. Segmentation is the modified fuzzy C means clustering algorithm. The segmented image is now shown to you in color format as well as in the grayscale also. And meanwhile, the objective function graph is also displayed. This is generated during the fuzzy C means clustering algorithm. 
right come to the next one that is extraction of feature after pressing this button the features are tabulated here it means contrast correlation cluster prominence cluster shape like that next to press the button select the feature after the selection of best features by sequential forward selection algorithm the message box it shows the completion stage next to press the button spm classifier it will predict the tumor type as glioma now it is displayed in the text box here now press the button analysis the execution time and accuracy will be computed now see this confusion matrix for each and every tumor type category the corresponding correct and misclassifications will be denoted in this confusion matrix the diagonal elements it shows the correct classification apart from the diagonal all are considered as the misclassification so we are able to obtain a accuracy of 94.87 percentage within a short duration of time the execution time for the prediction of a tumor type for the given test image is 0.5 seconds by seeing all the results we can tell our system will give the best performance for the prediction of mri brain tumor thank you